Are you helping with the booking? Are you helping with the booking? Hey everybody, uh, so you might be sitting at home wondering, where have you been? Well, yesterday was a lost day. Yeah, you could have found me on the toilet. I got either a 24 hour stomach bug or those oysters that I ate were bad because I was in the seventh level of hell yesterday. Horrible, horrible, horrible things going on. You don't want to know. And, um, I didn't think I'd be able to walk today, but here I am, walking away. We'll see, we just started. I may make like 15 steps and then fall over, but we'll see. Well, today is meant to, well, first of all, yesterday, you know, the con of having to book everything ahead with all these holidays. Hey, I'm filming a video, shut up. <laughs> is, oh, look at the book. Um, with all these holidays and having to book ahead, the con is normally, if Reese is sick, we would just stay put for an extra day until he gets better but in this case we already had the next two nights booked so we had no choice but to move on so yesterday we ubered here so there's not a lot to see although the place we stayed is beautiful really cool and more on that later more on that later uh and then today we have to continue on to a town that's a pretty hard walk from here so we're gonna walk probably half of it and then train the rest of it yeah uh, so we slept in and we're taking a really easy today so that Reese has a full recovery. Yeah. Guys, we're getting close to Porto, so we'll get there eventually. Well, maybe tomorrow. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, when was the last time you saw a Capri Sun baby? Now, the big question, do you put the straw on the top or the bottom? Oh, I've never done this newfangled bottom straw. Oh, situation. it's easier. What's up, French tourists? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, we just want to talk a little bit about the beautiful place we stayed last night. It's a very special property. They, uh, it was a water, old water mill, I guess. Yeah. There was a waterfall and a river running through it. One of the rooms actually had like a sort of glass see-through floor that you could see. Anyways, it was really cool. Really nice. And it was sad that we had to sleep through it. I slept through the whole entire thing. 24 hours of sleeping. It was fantastic. I did. And it was a bummer that he felt so bad because it was the first place we stayed that was full of young English speaking people that we could talk to. Yeah. And we had our first communal dinner and Reese slept it out. But I went and I was nervous about going by myself because I'm not very social. But, we but had, you did it. I did it. And we had a really nice dinner and a lot, most of the people there was also their first communal dinner. Okay. Sabrina has something to tell you. I'm trying to get through this. <sighs> without crying too much. Ah, um. Yes, my darling. It was a very special stay um, because this weekend is the anniversary of my mom passing last year. And we're walking with some of her ashes and um, it's just been weighing really heavily on me this weekend. And I've been having a really hard time and crying a lot about a lot of small things. And I think subconsciously it's just because of this in the back of my mind, I'm not really that upset about the small things that I'm crying mm. about. Um, but yeah, the dinner last night, we went around and like, oh, where are you from? What do you do? And the, one of the ladies at dinner is a hospice nurse. So I just burst into tears at mm -hmm. dinner. Um, because this is during this weekend last year, she was at home on hospice for her final few days and we were saying our goodbyes. So the Camino, the Camino, uh, yeah, we, we hugged and we cried and she just lost her brother recently. And it was a real emotional dinner that turned into a therapy session. <laughs> so Reese is happy he's No, <laughs> I'm happy that you had that moment. It's, uh, Tomorrow actually is the day that uh, Kathy passed. And so I think the Camino provided what Sabrina needed right when she needed it. It did. And this morning she wrote me a little note and she gave it to me and I opened it and I read the first few words and I was like, oh God, no, I can't. <laughs> so I saved it in my pocket to read later. Yeah. Um, but we were also struggling with where we're gonna go next and what we're doing. And I feel like every time we catch our stride on this Camino, we trip on something and 
we're just lacking momentum and motivation and inspiration and we're just struggling and I'm struggling and having an existential crisis about what we're doing and what it means and all kinds of things. So I, uh, it's a couple more days walking to Porto, but I just feel like we haven't walked a lot recently. And as we said, tomorrow is the actual day uh, anniversary of her passing. And we have some dear friends who live in Porto, which would be a few days walk, two days walk from here, who were really there for me a lot. <laughs> and my mom was sick. And so we've decided that tomorrow, we're gonna take the train straight to Porto to spend the important day with them. Yeah and uh, stay with them for the week until we really, really restart the Camino. Swear to God this time, guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Well, guys, we made it to our hotel. There were very mixed reviews of this place. People either said it was amazing or absolutely horrific. I think it depends on the audience. We found it to be adorable. Look at our very old school room. Um, but we have, yeah, it's like a time capsule. And then this balcony, I think we got very lucky with, with the view of the little square. And we're about to go to a Chinese buffet, so that'll make Reese feel much better. All you can eat sushi. <laughs> Probably try it. It's a Chinese and Japanese buffet, apparently. Uh, all you can eat sushi and Chinese food for 10 euros. I'm sure it's going to be really, really top notch. It's just luck. For all my fellow art directors out there, I know you love how vintage these numbers are. This sign, pretty cool. This is some throwback architecture. The design in here is really cool. These panels remind me of the places my grandparents used to hang out in, in Florida. Golf clubs that I never wanted to be a part of, but now I do. So this hotel is pretty rad. It seems like it was built in 1970-ish and then just never touched. It's not grimy or grungy or anything. It just it's is, like it's like a time capsule. It just is what it was back then. That's what's pretty cool. We are also saying we like how when stuff is, you know, time capsule-y like that, you think of when it, back to when it first opened and that was like the pinnacle of fanciness. Yeah. And now it's just retro weird kind of jankiness. <laughs> You know, I'm no doctor, but I think they say uh, after pissing out of your butt for two days straight, the best uh, thing to do is go to a all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet. <laughs> what do you think? I'm excited. A hundred people here in this restaurant can't be wrong. Hope not. Chanel for taking something out of an all-you-can-eat buffet. I'm just really full, cool, but I didn't get to satisfy myself with this cappuccino, so I'm gonna just carry it out in my pocket instead of in my stomach. <laughs> oh this is how we rest, you guys. This is a really nice room for resting. Good night. I can hear the peaceful sounds of people in the plaza, the breeze. Aww. <laughs> That is comfy.